Hey gang, Sally here. Hope you're having an amazing and fascinating day. I know I am. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you because you have been responsible for the message that I got when I got back to my rig at the end of this video this morning, which is that I am finally fully monetized on YouTube. I say finally, it feels like it took a really long time. Not, not necessarily. So thanks to you for that. In this video, we're going to take a walk through the woods. We're going to talk about what's been going on over the last 24 hours or so. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for helping out with the monetization. Please keep on watching the videos. You know, do all the things. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Here comes the video right after the intro. here look at this park guys they got this really cool pavilion got a playground over there got soccer fields down below and over here oh that's a baseball field down below i think actually kind of an amphitheater over here and trails which we're going to head up oh and basketball courts and your pup is welcome at our park please don't let them leave their mark Okay, so we're gonna head up this trail and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay guys, this is another one of those RV life is not all rainbows and butterflies kinds of things. So I realized yesterday after I got to the town of Concord, New Hampshire, that I had put in Walmart as my last stop for the day Assuming I was probably just going to sleep in the parking lot there. Let me make sure I'm not losing kit. Yeah. And I got over there and there were all kinds of no parking signs. That wasn't awesome. But there were no overnight parking. But I thought, eh, I see where, you know, they say like no unauthorized vehicles parking overnight kind of thing. And it's usually fine. So I'll just hang out here. I made dinner, did the dishes, I'm watching TV, and then I just had this thought. I really don't want the knock on the door. Oh, and the other thing that had happened was, um, sorry, I'm just recording on my phone. I didn't even bring a selfie stick. The other thing that had happened was that I uh, <clears throat> had seen a van and um, another RV were there when I got there. <coughs> Excuse me. But when I looked out after dinner, they were gone. And so, I got to thinking to myself, yeah, this could be a knock on the door situation. So, I looked in town of Camping World that was only a few miles away from where I was. So I went to the Camping World. And got there just after they closed the overnight parking app direction said you know pull in the driveway and then turn to the left there's my kit there he is where is he there he is was that a little puppy on huh is that a little puppy on in the morning okay let's keep walking so i put and there'll be spaces marked for rvs so i pulled in and looked to the left and all the spaces that were marked for RVs were occupied by trailers that they were selling. But there was another area over there that I could pull into. So I pulled in and that's where I parked last night and that was fine. And then I woke up this morning and I realized, oh, I'm on a fairly busy road so there's no place to walk yet. And I, Sorry, I'm hearing something. Um, and I inadvert and inadvertently left my uh, inverter on all night, so I'd sucked a fair amount of battery. And I still haven't fully recharged from all the uh, cloudy days we've been having. So I'm like, all right, I can't sit here all day anyway, and I need to sit someplace and do some work. And 
there's no place to walk Kit here. So let's go find a park or something, which is why I'm here. I found this place, which was, sorry, I just walked through a spider web, which is about three and a half miles from the camping world. And this, this is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. But I was thinking, you know, I'll get over here, park in the sun, and uh, after we do his walk, spend some time figuring out where I'm going next, what I'm going to be doing. And one of the things I want to do is see if there's a uh, pep smart around so I can get his toenails cut. And I think I'm probably going to stay at the Camping World again tonight, unless I find something reasonably close by that I want to move on to. So we'll see. But in the meantime, what's my point here? I think my point is, take life as it comes. It's not always awesome. Oh, so the, the, last, the last bit about being here though, is that I pull up in here and the parking lot here is completely shaded too. And because of the way it sits, it looks like it's going to be quite a long time before it gets sun, which means before I start charging batteries. And so when we're done here, we're gonna head back over to the Walmart parking lot and we'll just sit there for as long as it takes me to figure out what's next. And uh, then we'll probably go back over to the Camping World tonight. Hopefully we find a pet smart along the way someplace and uh, try and plan more than one day in advance. We'll see how that goes. I was really quite surprised though, because when I looked at my trip planner last night, I use RV Life Pro and I've got a uh, discount code in the description down below if you're interested in getting that. It actually works really well. Oh, but I have to do the work, right? So I looked at it and I realized I don't have anything planned from yesterday until my next big stop is going to be in the northeast corner of Maine, which by the way is only 416 miles away if I were going there directly. I could certainly actually go in one day, but I don't want to be up there for two weeks and I want to find some other things to explore while I'm in a state that I've never been in before. So looking forward to that. Almost lost Kit back there. He stopped to smell something. So I'm gonna try and get what I'm going to try and do is plan at least the next day or two and I want to look for maybe a campground where I can stay for three or four nights and uh, do a little more planning, get a little more caught up, that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where we ended up. So there's the pavilion way over there and we came all the way around through the woods. It was actually a very nice trail. And then came out here. And we're gonna keep going all the way around the field. And then we should be pretty good. So just that, that little trail through the woods was uh, four tenths of a mile. Oh, and maybe we go back into the woods? Let's see. They got porta potties. They got handicapped parking. Oh, this is the other side of the field where it's marked as a parking area. Glad I didn't come in this one, actually. I would have, wouldn't have been level, would have been a little more of a chore to turn around, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, very nice park. There's my kitster. So the moral of the story is, be flexible, go with the flow, be prepared for whatever life hands you. And what's, what's be prepared mean? Um, I think it means don't get upset. You know, a former version of me would have been kind of railing at myself over the fact that 
watch my air quotes, because this is totally channeling my mother. How could you have done something so stupid as not plan where you're going to be? Yeah, wasn't stupid. It was an oversight. I was busy yesterday. I visited two national parks in two different states and drove 125 miles. About, I think. I think about 125 miles. So, there's no stupid in there. There's just, there's an oversight. And hey, it all worked out just fine, right? Because what's my motto? I got all the time in the world. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want to. I'm not really on a schedule, so it doesn't really matter. Kit loves running around in the grass. It's like his favorite thing. I'm sorry about the sniffles, but it's pretty chilly. It's like 45 degrees and I've only got a flannel shirt on. I did put on pants though, so there's that. All right, so we're coming back up to the parking area. And I think this is uh, where we say goodbye for the moment. And it says this park is a carry-in and carry-out facility, but this isn't that a trash can right there? Maybe not. So thanks for coming along, listening to my ramblings. As always. Oh, lower XC loop. I don't know what that means, but I think we've had enough. Um, oh, that's not a trash can. As always, thank you so much for coming along. And this is gonna be completely unedited, by the way. I appreciate each and every one of you taking your time to watch my videos. Pretty steep hill, sorry, I'm running out of breath. So, as we get back to the parking lot, and get ready to get moving. All right, here's Kit. He's getting a podicure plus today. We haven't ever done this before. It includes teeth cleaning, ear cleaning, nail trimming and grinding, paw pad trimming. We've never done that before. And look at how well he's doing. He's a little nervous, but he's doing well. We'll see how the teeth cleaning goes. Well, it looks like he's done really well with everything else so far. Now we're down to the toothbrushing bit, which may or may not be a happening thing. Though she's tying him up differently to be able to get a grip on him. We're going with the spritz of cologne. I think we're passing on the toothbrushing, maybe. <laughs> 